Okay, so let's have a look at uh, integrating the interdomain and intradomain routing uh, with BGP. So we have the uh, internal uh, BGP uh, here listed as IBGP, and then the external uh, facing part where we're going to and from other autonomous systems is the eBGP. Uh, so here we have a, a group of autonomous uh, uh, systems uh, and systems within an autonomous system. And so now if we have a look at that, so if we say that going out BGP hop E, so if we go out here, uh, we can see the 18.0 slash 16 network. Uh, if we go out, uh, oh, sorry, this from the perspective of hop, uh, of router B. So router B is here. And so router B knows it can get to 18.0 slash 16 via E because we're saying that that's a network that's out here. So we go, okay, yep, that's the, the route that it should go to get there. Uh, then we have uh, via router at X top A, we should have two different address ranges here. So 12.5.5 slash 24 and 128.69 uh, slash 16. So they're out over this way somewhere. Uh, and then we have 128.34 uh, slash 16. Uh, that's out this way somewhere. So internally, router B knows that it can get to router A directly and it can get to router C directly, but routers D and E it needs to go via router C to get to because router C is here. So the shortest path from B to D or E is via C. Uh, and now if we actually combine these two together, uh, router B can work out to get to 18.0 slash 16, it needs to go via C because it wants to get to E, but it gets to E via C. 12.5.5 uh, slash 24, it gets to via A, it can go to A via A, so we have A down here. 128.34 uh, slash 16, we get to via D, uh, we get to D via C, so C is what's actually in the routing table. And then likewise, 128.69 uh, slash 16, uh, we get to via A, A we can get to via A. And so the actual routing table for router B would actually have this information uh, in there from combining what it knows about the internal network and about the external network uh, as to where the ASs can be found. Uh, and so, this kind of idea where we have these, you know, bunches of routers forming, uh, you know, localized areas, uh, we can actually do over an entire backbone uh, and have these kind of, you know, area border routers that are on the borders of the areas and the rest of the uh, routers are internal to an area and so don't have to do uh, the full routing. They can just concern themselves with the internal routing. So again, this helps to uh, reduce the burden and improve the scalability uh, for BGP uh, on uh, the internet as a whole. Okay, so that's it for BGP. We'll have a look at IPv6 in the next video.